guys, I'm back on the road finally. I am heading towards Amarillo for the night and then up to Colorado. I have a couple appointments, one on Tuesday, and then I'll be back to pick up my trailer in Texas. And then I think I'm heading down to Quartzsite, Arizona. We'll see. These picks are from Possum Hollow. Um, they have two little bars on this side of the lake. And we went out there for dinner one night. And the sun was setting. It's just so pretty. I finally ordered my medic bracelet. I have um, a condition that causes me to um, go into anaphylactic shock. Well, luckily, I've never gone that far. I have, have had some anaphylactic issues. I have severe food allergies. So um, this is what it looks like. Um, it's upside down but you get six lines i got the bigger one look it has hair on it already it just is picking up dog hair um it's from road id um they come highly recommended um they're very popular with um outdoors people and i had placed well tried to place an order the night before and this is the one i saw and it didn't go through but um they sent it to me anyway and th they're really cool um if you can't read this anymore, it's a lifetime guarantee um, that they'll send you a new one for free. I thought the box was cool. We believe in strong backs, switch backs, give backs, and back to the future. We believe you should never say never, never leave angry, and never give up. We believe that no one can do it alone. We believe in a good mixtape. Of course, we have to have a good mixtape, especially for being on the road. And we believe in leveling up. We believe in driving to the desert to see the stars. That's pretty cute. And they have a saying on the back here from Robin Williams. Spring is nature's way of saying let's party. And each one comes with its own little pamphlet here of who packed it. And Becky packed the one I'm wearing. And it tells you, she writes a little note. And little things here. Her celebrity crush, her first car, a Ford Escort, poor girl. Um, favorite movie, first concert, favorite food or vegetables, choice of, choice of cocktail, vodka and diet do a voodoo. Oh, that's cute. Favorite animal and favorite decade, the 80s with the big hair. Oh, you go, girl. And let's see who packed the second one. Steve. I thought Steve's was interesting. He was raised in Kentucky. His first car was a 69 442. Now, let me remember this. 414 means four barrel carb four-speed manual, and dual exhaust. Um, his favorite concert was Pink Floyd. His mythical creature is a Pegasus. Favorite vacation spot. Anywhere the water is wet and the fish are hitting. Best decade, 90s. My body had no check engine lights on. <laughs> okay, Steve. I thought these were cute. But if anybody is in need of a medical ID bracelet, let me know. I do have... Um, two 10% off coupons. They're about $40, $40, $42, something like that. But they, you wear them constantly. Um, really nice clasp. Like I said, they come highly recommended. Um, so check them out. Road ID is what they're called. Hey guys, I am making Violet a coyote coat with some Velcro and screws. And my trusty saw machine that goes with me everywhere. I forgot to film this in the beginning, but this is a little crooked because the machine is really tight. But I just put the Velcro on, put some screws through it, and now I'm doing the, the neck part. Anything to keep my little girl safe. Well, here is Violet's finished coyote coat. Hopefully, if a coyote ever came and tried to take her, they would get a mouthful. It's got screws on her neck, running down her back. They do make these for dogs but the jacket itself costs a hundred dollars and then you have to buy the spikes that go on it and they're I mean it can run you well into two hundred dollars more so I made one and hopefully it never comes in handy right girlfriend this is a view from uh, my friend Dee's house where I'm staying that's her pond right there and this is a extremely steep driveway I don't know why the builders built it like this I don't know who's gonna buy this property and get up this driveway but there's Possum Kingdom Lake. This is quite the view. 
I just picked the uh, cattail, or we called them growing up in Jersey, um, punks. And I just showed little Hannah here, my girlfriend's um, granddaughter, and she cute. I just showed her what these do. Watch this. Is that not cool? It's pretty cool. Just explode. You want to do some? Okay. It's so much fun. We did one earlier. Go slow. Look at that. <laughs> that one was cool. I love teaching kids this kind of stuff. This is stuff I learned growing up. Taught I my need kids. I'll be a nature teacher at school. I'll be your nature teacher at school. Yeah. That'd Just you fun. would have to go to Midland. And I would take all your kids on nature hikes once a week. That'd be really fun. Wow. Well, that's one of the other ones that we did. <laughs> it's attacking me. Yeah, this is pretty. There's a bunch of others. I just picked Violet up from the vet. She had eight teeth removed today. That's your girl. Your lips are stuck. She's still very groggy. Let's fix her lip. Come here. She said, Don't touch me. We just got home. So I got Violet in the house. She went pee. And all she wanted to do was eat. She wasn't supposed to eat until tonight. But she saw Elliot eat and she was hungry. So I just gave her a little teeny bit and now she's all getting comfy. And here's Elliot. He survived his 15 teeth being removed last week. So they're good to go until next year. I'll come back here. So I really like this vet and I'll get their teeth cleaned. Oh, and Violet had, um, she had hair, her own hair, wrapped around several teeth. She's just an oddball. This is the weirdest dog I think I've ever owned. And the more the doctor was pulling the hair away, the teeth were coming with it. Um, she used to be a suckler. She would suckle her blanket. And all the dog blankets that I have um, look like Swiss cheese. But she lost her front four teeth when I noticed the blanket fibers were wrapped all around them. And it took me a couple days with tweezers so I wouldn't get bit um, to get all that out. And out came the teeth. So she was already missing four teeth, and she hasn't been suckling the blanket since, but over grooming, I guess, um, she kind of has some fluffy hair. So I guess I have to brush her out a little more often so she doesn't do this anymore. Yeah, having dogs, it's like having children, right? Well, here's my dinner tonight. I didn't think of recording it while I made it until after um, it was already cooking. It's just fingerling potatoes. With some olive oil and everything bagel seasoning. I threw it in my air fryer and I cut up some spinach, some vegan butter, and some nutritional yeast and some Hawaiian salt. So this is my dinner tonight. I bet that looks good, doesn't it? Well guys, thanks for, for watching. I hope you uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.